a charging station for Geiger counters inside the crippled power station Fukushima Daiichi. Dressing up in protective gear is daily routine for the more than 6,000 people involved in the cleanup operation here. Five years after the triple meltdown, we are joining local workers for a tour on site. We want to see what exactly is going on here now. The crew is nervous. We're told to hurry. Filming close to the reactor buildings is still very dangerous. Due to high radiation levels, a lot of debris left here after the series of massive hydrogen explosions has not been removed yet. It would still be lethal for human beings to enter the reactor buildings. Reactors 1, 2 and 3 are still in critical condition. The melted fuel inside the reactors requires constant cooling. Those who work here are trying to keep contaminated particles from entering their bodies through their skin and their lungs. We have the three big issues in the Fukushima accident. We have three big issues since the Fukushima accident. One is the treatment of contaminated water. The second is the removal of spent fuel rods from the reactor buildings. And the third is the most serious, the detection and removal of melted nuclear fuel. Yuichi Okamura shows us the tanks that hold the contaminated water which has been used for cooling the melted reactor cores since the accident in 2011. We have, to, um, we have to continue injecting cooling water from the outside into the melted cores. And the radiation level in the contaminated water is very high. In the first stages, more than 1,000 millisievert per hour. 730,000 tons of contaminated water are currently stored on the site. Until very recently, radioactive groundwater that passes through the nuclear reactors has been flowing into the open sea. Since October 2015, a 30-meter deep barrier has kept most of this water within the premises of the power station. To this day, nobody can tell exactly how deeply the overheated reactor's nuclear fuel burnt its way through the structure. Perhaps that the melting, melting water. The melted fuel may fuel even reach as far reaches as the very bottom, bottom of the reactor buildings. Reactor building. In an unprecedented effort, the Japanese government is trying to clean up an area of 800 square kilometers around the Fukushima Daiichi power station where radioactive cesium from the reactor accident has contaminated fields and houses. 22 million cubic meters of radioactive material are already stored in the region in big plastic bags. The town of Naraha lies 16 kilometers south of the power station. After decontamination, subsidies are now encouraging people to come back, but they remain skeptical. Only 5% of the original population have returned so far. I'm not worried about the remaining radiation levels in the environment. I used to work in the nuclear power station myself. But I am worried about contaminated food. Once inside the body, radioactive elements stay there. Over time, the constant radiation causes cancer. Decommissioning the Fukushima Daiichi reactors is estimated to take another 30 to 40 years. Those decontaminating the houses around the radioactive ruin believe that one day people will return to this area.